Hi, my name is Dr. Evan Karras. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in surgery of the knee and the shoulder. I am in practice at the Mount Kisco Medical Group, as well as here at Northern Westchester Hospital, where I'm co-chief of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery, as well as the Orthopedic and Spine Institute. My field of expertise is sports medicine surgery, which involves mainly surgery of the knee and the shoulder, both athletic injuries as well as degenerative conditions. One of the most common disorders that I see in my office is problems with the rotator cuff tendons. The rotator cuff tendons are a group of four tendons, depicted here as the white structures on the model that connect the red muscle to the bone. What I see commonly are inflammation or tears of the tendon whereby this mechanism goes awry. When that happens, patients complain of pain and inability to raise their arm, pain at night sleeping, and causes significant problems with any sporting activities. With arthroscopic surgery, we're now able to do the surgery in a much more minimally invasive fashion, which involves just using small nick holes in the skin, not having to dissect through the deltoid muscle, and therefore allows for a more pain-free, easier recovery. These are the components of a traditional shoulder arthroplasty. What we do when we do a shoulder replacement is we remove the arthritic ball and we insert a stem down the bone that has a shiny new metal ball on it. Very similar to what we do when we do a hip replacement. On the socket side, we implant a polyethylene, very smooth liner so that now this allows a very smooth articulation of the ball and socket. However, in patients who do not have an active functioning rotator cuff mechanism, instead of inserting the ball on the stem as we do in a traditional arthroplasty, in the reverse replacement, we insert a hollow polyethylene socket on the stem and the ball goes on where the socket used to be. What this does allows a coupling of the forces of the deltoid muscle to now reestablish a fulcrum against which patients can now elevate their arm in a painless fashion. The reason I chose to practice at Northern Westchester Hospital is first and foremost the commitment that the hospital makes to providing their medical staff with the latest technology available to allow us to help our patients. Moreover, the expert care that's delivered here is done in a very patient-centered manner. Most of the staff, the nurses, the ancillary staff, the doctors who work here also live in the community. So you're just as likely to see us at the bowling alley or at the supermarket as you might be here in the hospital. What that means to us is that when we come here to take care of our patients, we feel like we're really taking care of our family.